I didn't fall. She fall past me. Ashley. Ashley. Cause she do 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 That's right y'all, I am back with another video and I done already mixed my mask together. So I'm just gonna show y'all um, basically what I'm using on my skin, just to clarify some stuff up. So this bar of soap is what I use in the morning time. This is what you guys see all the time. Um, so yeah, this is the Aveeno soap. Just to give you an idea of how it looks, this is how it looks in the bar or in the box. All right, and this by Johnson & Johnson, y'all. So, I don't know how y'all feel about them. Due to everything that they done been through, but this is the ingredients. Because I know some people love to look at the ingredients, like how I do. This is the top of it. Avino Moisturizing Bar Soap. All right. So, I have already mixed together my Noxzema, which is this right here. Oh, and this video is for my grandma. Shout out to my grandma, Jan. Yes, girl. Yes, shout out to you, girl. Shout out to you because when I was a little girl, baby, you used to use this all the time. All the time, grandma. You used to use this all the time, but um, we're going to talk about that real soon. Let's just go ahead and get the mask on my face, and I'll talk to y'all about my nana, my grandma. So, this is what you're going to need. You can pick up any one you like. They have a classic clean, which is like the original one. They have this one where you can lift this. And I believe they have another one with the blue band instead of the purple band. That's what I'm using. You're going to need some kind of turmeric. It doesn't matter what kind of turmeric you have. It could be organic, non-organic. As long as it's turmeric, you should be in the clear. Uh, my mom gave this to me a while back. So this is what I'm using and it's turmeric powder. All right. And that's it. So what I did was, I literally, I just want y'all to see how the Noxzema look. We already went over Noxzema, y'all. So hopefully y'all been paying attention to my videos. This is how the Noxzema look. And I don't know if y'all can see that dip right here. That's all of the Noxzema that I put inside of the, um, the container. And I use about literally like a teaspoon of Nox, uh, a teaspoon of turmeric. And this is what I have. So as y'all can see, like, that's a, a good a good tablespoon all together so I have already cleansed my face my face is dry you can apply the Noxzema to wet or dry face but yeah let's go ahead and just put this mask on so I'm gonna just give y'all a little bit of background about turmeric so turmeric is supposed to help with inflammation it's supposed to help with um, acne so if you got like inflamed pimples and you're trying to get rid of those pimples hunty this will help this is a good skin brightener I would recommend that when you do wash this off uh, I'm gonna uh, show y'all what y'all should what y'all should be using either some kind of like a uh, toner to get the rest of the tint off of your face cuz it does leave a tint put on clothes that you don't care about honestly I've spilt turmeric on my jacket before and it came out um i just sat baking soda on top of it while it was sitting in dirty clothes i kind of like folded it up and remembered that it had baking soda in there and then all i did was just you know shook out the excess baking soda so turmeric is just good uh i don't really know all of the fun facts to turmeric all i know is that they get rid of uh, it gets rid of dark spots it helps with hyperpigmentation uh it helps with um detoxing your skin and stuff like that uh it really gives off the same benefits as ginger so the same thing that ginger does really turmeric does i think they go hand in hand i believe i if, if i'm wrong y'all drop it down in in the comments let me know i'm wrong uh put your fun facts make sure you get up under your chin but yeah, my first time ever using turmeric was a disaster, y'all. I mean, that stuff is all over my mama's bathroom. She was in there acting crazy because I had turmeric everywhere. But this video is especially for my grandma because I know my grandma, uh, she does enjoy skincare. And um, she, uh, she always makes sure that her face is clean morning and night. I'm not too sure if my grandma still uses Noxzema. 
Um, I know she was using like a little family dollar knockoff, but when I tell you it smelled a little stronger than Oxima and I used it and some of these knockoff brands be really good. Some of these knockoff brands be real good. I'm just let y'all know. Um, the knockoff brand with food products, they be the best. I'm not gonna even lie. So, uh, not too sure if she still uses Noxzema and she probably does when she could get her hands on it. Um, cause you know, she's up in age and you know, she's not able to get her, well, she's not able to just get in a car and just go cause my grandma don't drive cause of y'all idiots out here, how y'all drive. So, y'all not scared the poor lady. But grandma, this video is for you. Um, I just want to just let you know how much I love you and how much I sat down as a little girl <laughs> watching you and my auntie, my auntie put this stuff on y'all face. And I remember the very first time I asked my mom, can I use it? Because I was a teenager and I started to get acne like really bad. And it was mainly like on my cheeks and stuff like that it was mainly on my cheeks and I was just so depressed about it I just wanted I just wanted it all gone and I used an oxima I used an oxima and I guess like I guess like my acne at the time was purging it was purging like real bad because it was like that pussy acne it was real bad and it was purging and she was like oh put this on your face no nope, i'm lying i asked my mama i forgot i asked my mama can i use it and she said yeah and i asked my grandma my mama said i could use some so i went to use it as a matter of fact me and my mom used it together at my grandma house went in my grandma bathroom used her noxema and uh i want to say that me and my mom had had the same skin type a long time ago we don't now because um you know our bodies are just different i guess and um we put it on this is how much i got left y'all so honestly i didn't even need that much not clean the next time i know to just whoop, do a scoop and that's it so we didn't know that we was going to react real bad to it so we put it on together when I first put it on, I made sure I washed my face. She gave me a nice warm rag. And me and my mom, we washed our face with the white rags. And um, I put it on my face and it was just tingling. And then it went to like excruciate and burning. So I took it off. And when I took it off, she was right after me taking hers off too. Y'all, we had like these thick, like the patches. They were like blemishes, but they was like, the skin was so raised. It was just like thick skin everywhere on my face. On her face, it was just like little tiny blotches, but she was like chemical burn from Noxzema. Now, I don't know if they done uh, did Noxzema differently, but when I did go back to try on Noxzema, I, I got the classic clean. That's the one I picked up. So I don't know if the actual original deep cleanser would do that again to my face. I'm not willing to try that out. I'm just going to stick to this one because this one is doing my face wonders. I guess because it has like a an, an extra moisturizing agent in it. So I deal with that. But yeah, it burnt my face real bad. It burnt my face and it burnt my mom's face like real bad. So... Like I said, growing up as a little girl, my grandma faithfully woke up in the morning because I live with her, of course, so I know this. She woke up, put this on her face, regular noxema, and she um, washed it off with warm rag, and then she just applied her moisturizer. That was it. My grandma never had acne. Maybe at the time, my skin was just going through like a lot but now i mean now it's pretty good i will do some before and after shots well no i will be I'll, I'll do some after shots after i take my mask off but so far so good um my grandma did try to help a lot out with my acne my acne was like out of control when i was a little a little uh teenager but um oh my nose my nose running I'm gonna use this rag. I got so many white rags. I'm gonna leave this on until it's dry.
who knows when it's gonna dry probably in like the next six minutes or so but yeah my grandma tried to help me out with a lot of um products i went through clear cell i went through clean and clear neutrogena proactive was something that really did work to my skin but i think my skin got immune to it and it just wasn't working for me no more it actually started breaking me out like real bad so i was like oh forget it what else i i tested everything on the market everything that y'all could think of uh bior um everything that y'all could think of uh yes so uh, yes ma'am or whatever that thing called what <laughs> whatever is on the market i've tried and i didn't realize it's it's almost like your hair like like me i have short hair now so i i feel like i honestly feel like the products that i'm using for my hair now are not gonna work when my hair gets longer because it's shorter because my hair is short so so i'm gonna have to use other products probably in conjunction with my products in order to get the the proper moisture that i need for my hair but right now for my face i promise y'all i'm only using the bar of soap that i showed y'all right i'm using the avino positively positive positively jesus christ i'm using that this right here sis and this one which is the clear complexion foaming cleanser i like to use this one at nighttime because i like it i just like how it feels at nighttime and in the morning time i choose to use the other products that i do use also um the real reason why i use white rags is because white rags don't have no dye in it i believe i don't know i could be wrong but i noticed that when i was using when I was using color rags, I felt like I was just breaking out even more from the dyes and stuff like that. Like I buy fresh rags and use them and just break out tremendously and I just couldn't understand why. I gotta show y'all how I moisturize my skin and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna hang this up and just let it dry. But yeah, so I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm just gonna sit this in the sink. I gotta be washed out. I don't know if y'all could tell, but I'm gonna take some before and after pictures too. I do have a, a light tint, but on this side of my face, it's clearing up real good. On this side, this was like my problem side. That's 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 getting there. So <clears throat> When you take this mask off, you might have um, you might have some um, some yellow tint left behind. If you have a toner, or if you have any kind of like glycolic acid, or if you don't have either, you can use your regular face wash to wash your face again. I don't I don't need to use that because I have what I need. And what I'm using is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. This retails on their website, on the Ordinary's website, and Sephora and Ulta for about, I think it was like $6. If anything, it's $7. And I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to take two cotton balls because I want to show y'all that all of that mask didn't come off. So this is the dirty stuff that's still on the mask. Well, that's the, <laughs> that's still on my face. And y'all, I was not gonna do a video today cause I was tired, but that's not fair to you guys or to me cause we gotta work every day. We gotta work. All right. I'm doing my lips too. And then what I did was all I did was just flip over the cotton pad and I'm gonna finish. So you may not be able to get all this off at one time. So I do recommend that 
when you do um, wash your face and stuff like that at nighttime, if you're going to do this in the morning time or even in the, even in the afternoon, I'm not going away today. I don't need no sunscreen or nothing like that after putting this on. I, I will suggest that you do, um, you use a light, a light exfoliator just to finish getting the rest off. That's what I do. Maybe your face can't handle that, but that's what I do. We're going to wait till this dry. Dry, 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 dry. Is that glitter? It is. Ugh. I shouldn't lick my lips. Last but not least, I do not use a moisturizer sometimes, y'all. But this is my go-to moisturizer when I am in the house. I'm not going nowhere. This is my go-to moisturizer, which is a CeraVe's PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I love this stuff. I live by this stuff. And I will always buy this stuff. If I'm not using that, this is what I do use. One second, like five. This is the only thing that I put on my face for moisture, which is the niacinamide 10% plus zinc one it's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula and it's by the ordinary as well and i've had this bottle as y'all can see since last year in the summertime and i literally don't use that much so my face is about dry i like to put my products on my skin on, while my skin is a little damp still because everything just soaks up perfectly this is how i apply this fingers are right here I apply it on all of my fingers like that. I rub my fingers together and then I pat. Especially all around my eyes. And then I pat into the skin. And I said this before about patting into the skin when I did the CeraVe. Uh, sunscreen video I will put that up so you guys can go check that video out I do I highly recommend that you guys pat your serums or your face moisturizers into your skin instead of rubbing my nose is just running 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 all right I'm done Let that dry, and just to let y'all know, niacinamide is supposed to be an oil reduction. Oil. I'm lying. Niacinamide is supposed to be for, to reduce oil sebum in your face. That's what it's for. There we go. But that's it for this video, guys. If you guys are new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the family. Um, I do post videos on a daily basis it may not be every day but i do post videos very frequently you guys what you said yes i post videos weekly he did correct me i'm sorry i post videos weekly uh any day just stay tuned for my channel y'all thank y'all so much for y'all support please subscribe y'all subscribe 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 we need to get to a thousand subscribers before the summertime or before my birthday march 4th but it's okay because we're still growing but y'all need y'all to subscribe if y'all like more videos drop your comments down below on what y'all want to see or what you guys may be interested in seeing me doing uh that's about it y'all love peace and hair grease bye